creeds got gets thrown in over the years with like there always become things that get so big mm -hmm. that then they kind of get not kind of put on a list of that it's like not cool or something mm -hmm. like Nickelback got put there. Dane Cook got put there. Mm -hmm. There was a list that came out just recently of like the 10 uncoolest bands. Nirvana was on the list, right? That's like, crazy. It's crazy, right? That, that That's crazy. But there's a thing that happens in society. Yeah. I notice it where something gets so big right. that a generation later, it becomes like a thing where it's not cool. Right. You know, for, of course it's not that cool anymore anyway, because it's, it's time is like, you know, it was in a certain era of time and stuff. So it's right. still, but it, you know what I'm talking about? It kind yeah, of gets no, like. No, I know exactly what you're yeah, talking what about. Is, and it, it's funny. I've, I've talked about this before. You know, I, I went from being on the cover of magazines with the headline, you know, Scott Stapp is this summer's rock and roll savior to, you know, the worst band of all time. You, or you yeah, know people I mean? say Creed, and, people and, say and, like and, Nickelback, and, Dane Cook. People say use those, these things as, that were like hit like a level of 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 stardom. Right. Well, you you know what it it what is that? it wasn't it wasn't America, it wasn't the people of the world, it was the press and it was the critics who the and better. and and the media who have this or have had this control over the hearts and minds. Uh, of the population, you know, and, and program in your mind, you know, what's acceptable, what's not, what's cool, what's not. And they can turn on you in a dime if you don't play by their rules. Yeah. Or, or if you get so big, they fear they can't control you anymore. Um, and so that's what happened. There was a shift, especially when, uh, you know, the, the Christian narrative came out and, and there is some deliberate, uh, you know, all throughout my music, Christian references and, and references to salvation. And, and those were intentional. Um, but when you're doing that in the devil's playground yeah. and you're doing that in secular, he's going to fight back music. Um, yeah. And, uh, on every level, uh, you know, uh, with the press personally, um, you know, and, uh, you know, so there was a takedown, uh, and, and now it's coming back around. You know, I'm, I'm proud. I'm a meme. Yeah. Oh, I it's like cool. It, How many people get to be a meme? Fuck. You know what I mean? Like, and, and it was so funny when I saw, or not when I saw one day I was driving my, my nephew and my son, my oldest son, Jagger, uh, to either school or to some practice or, or something. And they were giggling in the back seat. I was like, what are you guys laughing at? And they were just kept laughing. And then all of a sudden I hear, we're home, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> and then my nephew just busts out laughing, you know what I mean? And my own son, who I wrote the song about, is making fun of me, mimicking my voice. And I was like, what? And, and, and now this was before everyone else was doing it. You, okay, you, you okay. know what I mean? Like, you know, because the last 10 years, it's really become like a, a thing, you know? Um, and uh, I uh, never thought that, you know, thank you. I'm glad. Man, how many people get to, get get to have that and be a part of a generation? Yeah, a new of generation. people, and tie into a new generation. Yeah. man, I'm blessed. Thank you. And now my daughter wants to wear Creed shirts to school, and yeah. she's learning Mark Tremonti guitar riffs on her Les Paul. It's cool. Yeah. Um, well, and, I think and, it's gone through that system. I think it's like there was that like. Yeah, just it, for some reason, it's like that roulette ball landed on yep. you guys. It for, sure did. It seemed like. Yep. And this is from a outsider's perspective. And then, but now it's like, I told a lot of people you were coming. I was excited and all of them were fucking stoked, you oh, know? That's cool. Man. So it was cool. cool. It was like, man, that's oh, cool, I want to know like what his journey's been like, what's going on. Um, so yeah, I think like you're saying, it's like to even be able to have any still relevance, to see your daughter, to see people wearing your shirts with like, you know, I'm sure it's I mean, the same. I mean, she's 15, bro. Yeah. I know. It's crazy how these young people yeah, they're, they're, have like a, a different respect for, uh, and for the, music. The 90s are making a comeback. Yeah. Um, and uh, it's just it's just crazy. And 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 again, I, I have such gratitude for that. Um, and also I have a sense of humor about the, the mimic, mimicry and, and, and yeah, the jokes. Yeah, you have to. And the jokes. Um, I, I do it myself. Yeah. Because um, it's funny. Some of them are funny, man. I got a sense of humor. It's, they're, they're good. Um, because what I found that happens is it starts, it started that way, but then people started digging in 
and going, well, what are people, what are they, what are people making fun of? Right. And they start listening to the music. And then that's when it gets out of my hands. And I say that God used me despite myself. Oh. And then the music goes, boom. And I remember hearing, I think it was, who was it? It wasn't Jimmy Kimmel. Who's the other guy? Corden or whatever? No, no. Uh, oh, wow. I can't believe my mind just went blank. I mean, Seth Myers? Huge. No, black hair. Oh, wow. Uh, black hair? Uh, not Reggie Jackson. Huh? No, not no. Reggie Jackson, man. Oh. It's a late night show. There he is, Jimmy Fallon. Oh, Jimmy Fallon. Yeah, thanks for the reminder. I, sorry, Jimmy, my mind went blank. Dude, you're incredible. But he was talking one time on his show, mm -hmm. I think when he, when he, uh, his his wife was pregnant or they just had a baby uh -huh. and he had been a, a creed mocker uh for a time because it was funny it was good for stand-up right um and he went to get diapers if i'm remembering the story correctly and arms wide open came on in in walmart or target oh, yeah. wherever he was and he finally got it oh. it finally hit him as a father but he had to become a father to connect with the track mm. and you know, and, and, you know, I'm blessed. Hope you enjoyed that video and you can watch another and you can watch this one. You can watch this one, different options, different choices. Some guy just brings you one option, not this guy, two options. Watch one, this one or this one.